Hey everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome you all, welcome. My name is Ornuda, by the way, and for the Sway Fam, hey guys, how's it going? Um, yeah, today we're doing a foundation review, and we are testing the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation from Maybelline. This is like one of their new ones. So yeah, I come with you with a face already like half done, eyebrows done. I have a video up on here about how I do my eyebrows that done. And I create a makeup look because I don't want to waste too much time, you know, because we're testing this foundation. And so we want to get into it and discuss the details, nitty gritties and all of that stuff. All the product listed that I've used for the eye will be listed in the description box below. So yeah, let's get into the foundation. So what Maybelline actually says, I'm going to read what they say about this foundation. Okay. So it is a whipped formula providing an airsoft perfect matte finish coverage with, with a weightless feel, um, a breakthrough in technology with flexible silicone polymers to help prevent caking, and with color pigments which give superior coverage and blends effortlessly to impart a soft, natural looking, even toned skin. It's a foundation that already comes with a primer in it. Um, it says foundation plus mattifying primer. So you don't have to use a primer for this at all. I got two separate shades. I got the hazelnut and I got mahogany. Um, I didn't think this one was my shade, but it could also be just packaging. We can't test them because of COVID. You guys know, so when you go to the shop, you can't like take and test stuff now and they didn't have um, testers for this one when I went to the shop so apart from just being a mediifying primer it also has SPF 18 in it and again I'm not really like big on foundations with SPF in even though it's good it's not like it gives you a lot because now it's mixed in with the matte the primer plus the foundation so you're not getting all the the finish so don't think because you're using your foundation with SPF that you cannot you should not use SPF so please use your sunscreen um it lasts for 24 months and this is how big i you check how big this it's just an 18 mil it's an 18 mil and it cost me how much you got i don't remember now how much it cost me i'll put the price here how much it cost me or in the description box below um yeah i'll definitely remember to go check once i'm editing this so apparently we don't have to use primer because it already has a primer um yeah so let's first test them this is the hazelnut this is basically how cute that looks uh looks like that and hazelnut on my skin mm. doesn't look too bad it's a bit lighter though but not so bad um i think hazelnut will be my color and now I am using, other though, see the difference there? Um, so this is Mahogany. Mahogany is my shade in Revlon, you know, my general shade in Revlon. My, my normal shade in um, 24, the Super Stay in Maybelline is Caramel. So the undertones looks almost the same. It's just one is darker and one is lighter. I'm only darker than hazelnut. So we're gonna go with mahogany. I'd rather go dark than light. I know that most of the foundations, the foundation has already been on the market, but I've hardly ever bought um, this foundation. The, they are cream foundation so this will be my first time also trying it just like you so we're going with mahogany i said mahogany it is and then i'm going to use an applicator to apply it on my face but i'm going to use a brush to then brush off because i feel like cream foundation fit nicely with brushes so just a flat brush i'm just going to use that to just transport the product onto my skin I feel like it looks much lighter in on camera than it does in person. In person it looks like it's much darker. I also feel like it's gonna be a good foundation. I'm gonna take a clean foundation brush 
I'll use that one. And take a clean foundation brush and then let's try and blend the situation out here. So say this is already a primer. It immediately is dry. not dry. Yeah, it is dry. Oh, this is a good blend. And this looks a lot like that on camera. Actually in person. It doesn't look so bad because my ear and that almost look according to me now. Now it's going to look might look different when I end up editing this. Looking at it from your perspective instead of like mine. Um it's thick in application and I think you have to be fast at applying this because it does dry down. It will dry down on you. So but I like the finish, it literally looks like it's sitting right in my skin. Maybe it is the right undertone. Hmm. It doesn't even look like it's there. You know what I mean? It is definitely buildable, so I'm just gonna put in areas that are a little bit darker. Just to darken those areas. And I want to put a little bit on my forehead. Because I feel like you're going to use this and more product than you know, like a liquid foundation to move it around. Because it's like I think it dries to powder in a sense, but not really. Let's see. So yeah, there it is. a little bit lighter for me i think it also works if you like spray your brush a little bit because that's how it looks it's not so i feel like it, i like it actually i like the finish um it's definitely buildable i feel like you're going to use a lot of product to build it even though it doesn't feel like i took a lot this is basically what that looks like to show you just how much of, of that i took it doesn't look like a lot but i feel like i took a lot using like a thingy your brush and yeah i'm gonna try it i'm gonna conceal now and i'm going to try see how hazel that is and conceal with that one and if i need to conceal a little bit more i'll go in with something else you know the thing about cream foundation at work is that you actually use cream products all the way even though i'm mixing it is not so bad because like liquid foundations or liquid concealers will sit nicely on top of a, of a cream um, but yeah so I'm going to use to highlight we don't use like literally not so bad highlighting doesn't look so bad look like it will like, sink right into my skin I'm going to try and blend it with my beauty blender and see how that works a damn beauty blender by the way, this might be all we need. So let's see how that works. Yeah, no, immediately I don't like a beauty blender. I feel like it's eating, taking product. So, nope, no beauty blender in this process. If you're going to use cream, I'm going to put it a bit back. In the area that I feel like was taken. I literally feel like it just removed. It didn't like do anything. So I'm gonna take a brush and blend with the brush. That goes so much smoother than and the finish is very pretty of the foundation so you can definitely build it up to full cover I'm not gonna do much I'm just gonna do it like this I think I like the way this highlights not a lot it's a very natural finish type of highlight so I'm going to leave it like this and not go extraordinary and stuff just leave it like that that looks nice I'm gonna go in with uh, my Rimmel to conceal and contour palette and I'm going to use that dark brown there to contour using 
a flat brush again to set the product and then use a brush to brush everything off because I like cream products because they give you more um, they enable you man like you can literally set them at a place and they don't move you know so it gives you that freedom to move the product how you want to move it without giving yourself so much stress like with the liquid that's why most people would like to do that contour and highlight with like no especially contour with like a cream because it gives you the ability to more freedom to work this is what i'm trying to say yeah, I'm gonna change brushes. I'm literally gonna go in with a foundation brush and then use that to just buff the cream contour into the skin. So I'm just gonna try and press and up and press and up. So literally it's like press and in. What do you call the staple? Press in and then brush it up at the same time. So there. And do the same because I think this is this one is drier than the the Maybelline, I mean than the Revlon one. Not dry, dry, but more matte in the way that it dries. So I'm just going to set everything very lightly I'm going to set everything once using my black opal compact invisible powder and I'm going to use this applicator thingies and try and set with that just the entire face I will not like um, bake anything at all so I'm gonna Set everything all at once. I'm just gonna go in with an angled brush and a dark powder just to bronze out. And I'm going to also take it into this bronzer, it's a shimmer bronze. Also, just go in there a little bit and pet it off. And just go into the areas where I applied the contour. I just I think it will look very nice. So in plus I just want a very light contour look, you know. So that's that and then do it again on the other side. Mind you I'm doing um, I'm going like in windy um, pattern but I'm doing it going up. I thought I had a map in here. The driver's door doesn't lock. I bought the car my junior year There's candy in my backpack And you can pick our soundtrack We're heading for the East Coast tonight So pack your bags and hold on tight Cause we're taking off back, back here. Back That looks good And then Going into the same bronzer palette Of Wet n Wild I'm going to highlight That looks pretty. Yay. I'm going to go into my stunning Pro Fusion Matte and Color Palette Complete Matte Lipstick, that one there. And that is, oopsie. I'm going to try and do a purple. I mean, I love purple.
way to New York City. Take my hand and see. Man, I never look so pretty. Travel light and see the world right. You'll never know if you never go. So run away with me and say hello to New York City. So that's what that looks like and then so this is basically the look that then i've created using the i put some jewelry on my face and a neck band so basically that's what that looks like i did go in with my all women um nude Luppy, just over that purple that I put in. Um, sure. One of my final thoughts of the Dream Mousse Foundation by Revlon. <sighs> okay. I actually like this foundation. I really, really, really do. I forgot how much they cost me, and I already removed the the tag. So I'm going to put it here. I. Oh, I probably put it in my description box on the previous before we actually got here when I just introduced the products a bit I probably put it in there somewhere um, If I didn't I'll put it in here now so It is a very cool foundation. I love the way that it looks. I uh, Love the finish it has like also cream to powder finish and as you can see as of course you've seen I didn't like bake or I didn't set my under eye separately I just set the entire face once because for a girl like me with oily skin that actually works out for me much better I mean with dry skin that works out for me much better because I realize how matte they dry and also it does feel like they did put primer in because the finish for me is totally different compared to the finish for me of the of the Revlon compact foundations um, if you have not watched them, I'll put them up here and then you can check out that link in my reaction to those to that video So that's basically what I feel and then I also think that Revlon being, I'm not Revlon, Maybelline being Maybelline, they anyway like to have their product go net So yeah, it actually works. I don't know how it's going to work for girls with pigmentation and all of that But it does give you full coverage. It's buildable so it can give you full coverage But I like the finish is so pretty it is like literally full cover um yeah would i buy it again probably if i remember the price but maybe this stuff for me is actually cheaper they are one of the they're one of my favorite brands i think you've seen i use a lot of maybelline because they're one of my favorite brands because always a cool sales happening if i like pay for two and get one free you get them at like certain percentage off and all of that and their products are literally under 200 bucks i think most of their foundations are under 200 bucks so that's basically how um yeah they are um again with the spf situation i would suggest that you still use spf before you put the foundation on but for all the girls i'll suggest that you still prime before i know i know i still suggest that you prime before it does give you a very matte finish so i really like the the matte finish and the natural finish that it gives you for people with dry skin like me you honestly didn't have to prime this but the, the primer they put in mixed in with this foundation is enough for us it is a beautiful finish i take this for like everyday wear type of foundation um compared to my other one that's like 12 hour wear 24 hour wear type of foundation so this feel like a good eight hour wear foundation that you can put on because it does give that natural finish it is a little cute and compact for traveling so if you're traveling you don't want to take a lot of things this is a very cute one for, for traveling with um yeah and it fits everything in there i have not have complaints about this found foundation at all except if it if i do find out <sighs> i remember how much it costs anyway once i find out how much it costs and 
I'm like, it's a bit more expensive than a normal than the 24 hour. I would like get a 24 hour mask and get this one. But for people who really like cream foundation, especially with pigment and all of that, cream foundations are so much better for you because they tend to give you full coverage and cover pigmentation very well. So if you have like pigmentation, I think I suggested to use a cream um, foundation compared to a uh, a, a, a liquid foundation if the liquid foundation is giving you off because nine out of ten times that a cream foundation will always cover your pigmentation um, and a liquid foundation not so much but if it does a full coverage some of them really do keep cover but you still have to apply a little bit of like concealer and stuff to just mark out the dark spots but this one immediately cream foundation immediately like take out the, the dark spots so that's the nice thing about cream foundation and also the freedom that it gives you to like set products and work it in because you literally lay it down and then you use the brush to like blend it wherever you want and that also gives you a way to like um not overuse the product or use too much because now you've applied and you're like oh okay i need more and like that i like the um the liquid foundation that you usually use because usually like if you especially if you're, if you're not if you're new you can use control over the liquid foundation very quickly because it's runny so you think like ah two pumps and then you're gonna be like oh, you've overused and you've wasted well this one you apply with you know a little applicator brush and then you use the brush to then blend out um because the, the brush also moves the product better than uh, a beauty blender and i've seen that beauty blender lift lifts the product so you don't want to use that and i really like the matte finish that it gives you this is usually my type of like finishes um, uh, but if you're going to use one powder i use translucent because i know that it will not affect both colors at all and so it can set the the concealer plus the rest of the face without like giving me an additional type of um, shade or color on top of it um that's why so you're going to go in with a color type of uh setting powder then you must just be careful under the eye that you don't like over bake it or make it too dark then you know just change the color of the under eye because then if it already looks nice and you don't have to like um too much you know my voice sounds like it's going to sleep i'm not um going to give you a wear test but this is what it looks like i already know i'm going to wear this for a while i every foundation i like if you see me test the foundation i probably won't it before. no i don't wear it before i'll test it on here and then go throughout the week and test it if my mind does change i'll probably refilm it i'll, I'll refilm it to give like different um to give my proper review of how it was like throughout the week but if i like if it's consistent with what i've said when i test it the first time when i wear it that week then it's good like this, the next week i'm going to continue wearing this one last week i wore the revlon one the whole time and then this week i'm wearing just this one to just make sure that you know i'm consistent with how it is like first impression compared to long, long lasting impression but anyway i haven't i've not had a maybelline product that disappointed me so far have i i don't think so i really like maybelline products anyway that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this review and don't forget to use your SPF TV. That's very important. It's in sunscreen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you have liked this video, that you have left a comment, and that you are subscribed to the channel. Let's make my channel grow. Yay! And that you also share it with one of your with your one friend. Please share it with one of your friends. And I hope they have also subscribed to the channel. It's not expensive, it's literally free. It doesn't cost you at all, nothing. It's just down here. It's in red subscribe click that one if it's already gray it means you already subscribed make sure the notification bell is on so that you are notified of all the videos that i upload